Okay. All right. Thanks for your patience. Glad to have you here. Hope you're enjoying the stream. If you're not already a follower, I hope you'll follow and come hang out again. I'm enjoying having you here. Let's see, it is. It would really help out everything. Let's see. So let's move on. We are going to move in here. See, there's a house here. Does it? Can I go into it? Is there anyone here? Maybe? It looks abandoned. There's somebody here, though. Who is this, this guy standing by the abandoned house? I don't want Jeff standing so close to him. That makes me nervous. Let's try talking to him. Is he going to try to stab me? You need something, stranger. <laughs> Please, keep your voice down, will you? It's hard enough getting the hang of this fish wrangling business without you scaring them all away. Ah, that makes sense. Uh, fish wrangling? I take it you've never done this before? Nay, I have not. Used to be a miner, I did. I've sunk to this to feed my family. Not that it's a bad way to make a living, mind you. I just prefer having a good solid pick in my hands and a sweating while I work. There's too much standing about waiting for the fish to bite. Ah, uh, well, we do what we must. Okay, well, I'm glad he didn't try to stab me. That's nice. Usually they do try to stab you. Are uh, these random people standing out in the wilderness? Okay. Well, let's see. I, we are here to find some half-ogres. And we found some already. Let's see if we can find some more. And uh, commit them the unalives. Yes. Hey, hey, welcome, welcome. We are uh, going through Baldur's Gate 1 right now. We just started a couple episodes ago, so you are still really early on in the series. We're still in Act 1. Um, we're going to go through all three games in the trilogy. Uh, we're, I think, we are getting up to level 3, level 4 on a lot of our characters, so still a long way to go. It's going to be really fun. We're playing with SCS, so that is uh, Sword Coast Stratagems. It generally makes the... Uh, AI of enemies much smarter. Okay, well, there's some Ogrelons here. Actually, let's see, I want to have Big Lead hang back, as well as uh, God's Plan. We're going to have God's Plan hang back, too. No reason to go into melee just yet. We're going to save these Masterwork Bullets, too. I should have done those, done that with the, uh, the arrows, also. And Jeff is just going to do a great job of hiding behind a tree. Um, that's that's our plan for Jeff here, and we're going to send everybody one by one, just focus down these Aqualons. Now, um, that was a pretty big damage hit. Let's actually have a heal come in. Let's have a heal come in to drop on Strong because here, because I think he's going to take another bit of damage. Um, and then we'll have everybody else attack this Aqualon. Now, hopefully it doesn't attack. Okay, it is trying to attack God's plan, but hopefully it misses. Okay, the heal comes through first. That's really good. Uh, so let's back up. Yep, free attacks. Awesome. Okay, so that worked out better than expected, honestly. Uh, let's get some loot. Get a ring. A little bit of gold. Nice. Okay. Well, those aren't the half ogres we're looking for. <clears throat> let's see if we can find any more. Like nothing really around in this area. Hang on, I guess let's check the the map exit while we're here. Well, there is another map out there. Well, we could go check that out at some point. Check this map exit too. Ah, uh, yeah, I think we got that there too. Well, we don't want to go there yet. <clears throat> but let's quick save now that we got those map exits. And once again, Jeff is at the front, so I actually want to want to get him to the back. Just don't want him to be in front of anybody at any time. Okay, he is now the front line, apparently. Um, we're going to bring him over here. So this is a little risky, because there is an enemy somehow we managed to dodge. Um, hmm... I guess hopefully that means there's they're a small adventuring pack. Let's drop a quick save and uh, send Strongicus out front. 
That is our plan for most of the early game here. Um, ooh, okay. Uh, I am going to have him take a defensive stance. We're going to do defensive stance. That's going to be our activation of this for the day. We're going to try to uh, beat these down here. Do a little bit of a beatdown. We are the beatdown. Yep, he's going to take some damage, but we're going to resist half of it. Um, and in fact, I'm going to go ahead and probably send God's plan up to charge a heal at him. We might even... might be too late. These guys are crazy. Wow, though that damage is insane. Okay. What is this effect that he... Oh, right, that's the hardiness. Um, yeah, we are not killing them very quickly. Which is surprising. I guess we do have sleep. Let's try casting that. Maybe Jeff can do a thing. Let's see what you got, Jeff. Uh, okay. Oh, God's Plan took a huge hit there. So we may need to rotate in bigly. Um... Okay, yeah. Wow, I really underestimated this fight. Are they immune? Oh, they're probably immune to sleep. Oh, it was a save versus death, and I guess they both got it. With an 8 and a 14, they have really good death saves. Um, hmm. Yeah, this did not go well at all. I mean, we got one of them. Yeah, Strongicus has to run now. Um, and he kind of can't. Oh, yeah, and, uh, well, oh, wait, no, that's good, that's good. Sorry, I thought that was the game ending. Um, he's really slow, is is a big struggle, so I need to try to body block here. So we're going to try to do some funny micro. I'm going to try to walk directly towards Strongicus as he's walking back. Um, oh, right, we need to retarget everyone. Um... Yes, so, and this, oh, no, 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 this is not, this is not what I want. There we go, okay, so that's what I want to happen. So you can see Strongicus is now getting away, and Bigly is in between them, and you can do some micro to try to prevent them. Yeah, he's already switched aggro, so he's decided he can't get that um, attack in anymore and has switched aggro. I guess we can start slinging darts. <laughs> um, it's probably not going to do much. And let's, um, let's sing a bard song, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's so much damage. Um, let's see, we need to get another heal now on her. Let's see. Um, I guess, oh man, I sent him way too far back. I really shouldn't have. Um, yeah, and I think this is probably... We can try to kite. I don't really know that we can do so very effectively. We don't really have the map information to kite. But I guess we... Oh, he's so fast. Wow. I don't think we can kite very effectively. Um, Sorted. We can try. Oh, she doesn't have a bow. Um, don't worry about me. But yeah, we can try to kite away. It might work. We can keep him aggroed. We can pick attacks on him periodically. But I mean, he's... Oh, yeah. This This is just making him so slow. Um, okay, this is good. This is good. He's actually following our group here. We want this. Um, okay, this might work. I was really worried his aggro would turn over onto Strongicus, who is our main character. And we really can't afford to have get knocked. Um, of course, I mean, we reset on anybody dying, but... Uh, okay, we're gonna back up a little bit here. A little bit further. Just keep that kiting going. Hey, that's some, oh, that's a lot of misses. Wow. Um, hey, we're just gonna just gonna use this this barrier. He just took 15 damage. I'm not really sure what just did 15 damage to him, but we take those. We take those. Oh, the berserk state. Right. He's no longer berserk. Okay. Well, that's good. Um, yes. Nice. Nice. Okay. We got it. So that is two ogre berserkers. Um, ouch. That used all of our heals. Don't worry about me. That was quite painful. But, um, oops. Oh, no. Sorted. Uh, but we did clear him out. Uh, <laughs> so those are a static encounter for sure. I'm, they, I doubt very seriously they come back. Uh, let's see. 
Okay, but I'm out of heals pretty much. So this is really scary being away from town and only on one heal with three low health characters. So I need to think carefully who I heal here. I think it's got to be Bigly because I need to have two melee characters capable of taking a hit. I think that's my best option here. Actually, now that I think about it, yeah, my the main character gets a built-in cure light. I'm going to have Strongicus use that on himself. And hopefully this is enough to get us back home. Oh, that's a long travel. Baragost or Nashkel. Uh, hmm. Uh, money. Yeah, it's primarily money. I literally can't afford to resurrect people at this point in the game. Um, in the future, if I'm like rolling in money, yeah, I might, I will probably do a couple resurrections to save resets. Also, a lot of the time, it's just not practical. Like if you lose one character, things can fall apart so quickly. Um, in say another encounter after that, that your whole party gets wiped. Um, so it's, it's usually if you lose one character on the way back to resurrect them, you'll lose another and it can get really bad. So I, I usually just try to reset and just take that as a as an L. Um, if I'm doing like if I'm doing like NPCs, then you know you can always swap it out for one of like the the non pre build NPCs. But uh, that's not what we're doing here. Okay, so we need to pray uh, to to whatever like school of of deity you believe in. <laughs> um, yep, chaotic evil through chaotic good. It's fine. We, we need that uh, at this time. Uh, so let's see. Woo! It works. It works. We're safe. Okay, let's heal. Um, thank you. I, I, I appreciate that. Like, couldn't have done it without you viewers. Okay. Let's get this room. Okay, and we need lots of healing, so we're going to take the royal room. Rest. Yes. Many much healing. Um, now, uh, we have a 5,000 gold bounty to collect somewhere, but I don't actually know who to talk to. Um, and we probably want to rest again. But let's cast some heals. I think that... Fair Druid, the revive spells... Yes, yeah. Although, um, it's only just like a couple... Let's see, what is it? I think that's a level 5 spell, and we're so early in the game that we don't have access to that. The only way we could resurrect somebody would be through um, the temple, and that, I think, is like a couple thousand gold. So it's very, very expensive. It's a good question, though. Um, yeah, that's, that is why if we just... It's not a thing that we're really capable of doing. Uh, but even then, it's also something I really don't want to do. Uh, 2,000 gold, especially at this point in the game, is quite a lot of money. Um, but really, at any point in Baldur's Gate, you know, 2,000 gold is going to be a lot. Uh, when we get to Baldur's Gate 2, Resurrection won't be as big of a deal. But uh, also, it'll be happening a lot less because our characters won't be so wimpy. We'll actually have a mage, for example, and our bard will be able to do magic things. A question about two nearby encounters. Sure, yeah, ask away. Um, interesting. Uh, okay, well, we got some good heals in there, but I think we're in okay shape. In okay shape. We could maybe try to do some combat nearby, but I think I can turn this in somewhere. I can turn these quests in, actually. I actually know who to talk to. Isn't there, like, a officer or something? Like I saw, like, officer somebody. I wonder if I can turn in my, um, bounties to her. Is she back here? Did I talk? Oh, wait, this guy is important. Yeah, he gave me a quest. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Uh, fine work. News of the battle has reached me even here. In an effort to encourage such deeds of righteousness, allow me to present you this shield. Ooh. The Sword Coast needs more heroes of your sort, especially in times as dark as these. Yay, we got a shield. How do you plan to Garrick and Silky encounter? Oh, I already did that. Uh, yes. Yeah, that was one of the first things I took on. 
Um, it was actually I didn't expect it to happen, um, but it was it was quite a surprise. But yes, that uh, that did that went pretty well. Um, got quite a bit of experience. And hey, thanks for the follow. I appreciate you. Welcome to the channel. Glad to have you here. This the the K Sonic. Welcome, welcome. Right, let's see. So we got that turned in. I need to figure out where do I turn in? I want my 5,000 gold bounty. I know there's a bounty for this. Oh, my face is, is slowed by this shield. Oh, right, and we need to identify these. We've got all this fancy magic stuff, too. Let's go figure out what this magic stuff does. And then see who I can get that 5,000 gold bounty from. Basilius. All right. Uh, maybe it was the mayor of the town. I think it might have been the mayor that I need to talk to, and he lives up here. Um, but yeah, so that's one of those, the two encounters. Is that what it is? The temple? Ah, okay. I'll definitely have to go there then. That's what it is. Where are we? We're all the way over here. Okay. I guess let's, let's get this map waypoint. I don't have this yet. We'll, we'll check the temple then. Thanks for that. Yeah, this is this is not a speed run. It's not super optimized or anything. Um, I actually haven't played Baldur's Gate 1 in a very long time. I have beaten Baldur's Gate 2 with SCS on Insane. Uh, but Baldur's Gate 1 is uh, something I haven't done in quite a while. So There's most of the quests I don't necessarily know where I'm going. So if you know like a quest location or... Uh, any anything that I seem to not know, I probably don't know it. it would <laughs> it's much appreciated. Oh, we're stuck. Oh, who's this? Just a commoner. Okay. Well, uh, I thought there would be a map node up here, but it seems like there's not. I'm pretty sure that's the mayor's house. Let's uh, let's go over to the temple. But I also I'm a huge D and D nerd. I I love to play D and D. I'm a DM. Um, although I don't broadcast my games because it's just a small game with friends, and I'm not, you know, I'm not critical role level, right, level or anything. But uh, yeah, I, I enjoy D and D, so I like to talk about that too, I've got uh, this. and all sorts of things. Really, I am the talkative sort. Let's see, let's check this temple. Maybe, maybe this is where we can turn this in. That'd be nice. I feel like I was supposed to be given this bounty by somebody. Ah, yay! Okay, you were right. Thank you so much. By the morning, Lord, I see that you have the holy symbol of Basilus. It must have been a difficult battle to take down such a powerful man. Yours is a service that will not soon be forgotten. It is a pleasure to give you the full reward for which you have worked. Yes! Yes! 5,000 gold! Let's go! <laughs> and so much XP! Oh yeah! We are in great shape here. Uh, let's see, who's getting our next level? So the fighter's in 2.4k. Oh, we're going to get a cleric level here soon. We're finally going to get access to... Um, oh, wait, no, no, no. Yeah, we don't get level 3 spells until level 5. So we're going to get more heals. Still, that's good. Um, and we're rich. We're rich. Let's identify some stuff. Oh, okay. Um, plus two Warhammer. That's pretty nice. Uh, that that is a good item. That's that's really good. I thought it was just plus one, but that's that's exceptional. Okay. Uh, let's see. Raised dead. Oh, raised dead is six hundred. Well, it's still quite pricey, but at the very least, we can afford it now. Although, again, I I would rather not. Um, let's see. Okay. Got an expeditious retreat. We've got a couple of those, actually. That's convenient. Okay, well, amazing. Got a Warhammer here. Oh, yeah! Purdue's short sword. There is... Purdue is somewhere. And and he wants a short sword back. I wonder where he is. Uh -oh. What's this gauntlet? What are these gauntlets? Minus 10. Oh, these are cursed. Yikes. Okay, well, we're not going to put those on. 
Medium shield plus two. Okay. Wait, wait. This is armor class plus two. Armor class plus one. Okay, so this is squarely better. Fantastic. Two upgrades for our dwarven defender here. He is looking strong because indeed. Um, strong because to the maximus. It's this letter. Um, ah, yes, they want to kill me. Right. Uh, okay. Um, good there. Give these scrolls over to the face. Very nice. I've got this. Okay, well, glad to have you here. Thanks for hanging out. You're having a good time. You're having a good time. This is a water check. If you have not had some hydration recently, make sure to do so. It's super good for you. Maybe get a stretch in. You got a pet, maybe show the show that pet a little love. Got some family. Maybe show that family some love too. Whatever makes you feel good. Let's see, so what do we do? Where, where is Purdue? Actually, I wonder if we've got a journal entry. For Purdue. It seems as though we don't. But I know Purdue. I remember seeing this on Google. Let's see, Purdue's. Yeah. The Red Sheep. He is in this town. Okay. Let's go there. I've got this. Um, back to Barragos. Pretty sure Red Sheaf is here. Isn't that one this one? Yes. Okay. Go to the Red Sheaf then. That would be good. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here. Hope you're having a good day. Okay, and then there is a guy in here. Is Purdue? Aha! Yes, I have your sir sword, sir. Hello. You wouldn't happen to have seen a big loudish guy with a dog's head on him around here, have you? I can't say that I have. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but but I've got your sword. <laughs> Figured maybe he'd eaten it by now. I hope you ran him through once or twice to get it at least. Now take your fifty gold and be gone. Oh, well, I guess he's just giving me 50 gold. Ooh, 500 experience is nice, though. That's just pretty sweet. Okay, with that, um, can we get any money from you, though? Any? Oh, wait. That's not what I meant. Anything to sell? No rumors? Okay, it seems like no rumors. That's good. That's good. Okay. I've got this. Yeah, you can see Silky is gone. I totally fell for it um, at first, but then realized what was going on and decided not to kill the people. Um, let's see. So then, where are we going? I guess we need to go... I check my notes here. Mm, to the Dryad Falls. Yeah. It looks like there's not too much left before we can really get into the Act 2 stuff. Oh, uh, well, we, I guess I don't want to buy that plus one axe anymore. I've got a plus two hammer. I don't really think I need the plus one axe. That's a thought. Uh, I could go for armor. Let's see. And I wish that that mage at the high hedge hadn't died. <laughs> That's so unfortunate. I, there's not going to be a really good uh, magic. I'm not going to have good access to magic until I get to um, Baldur's Gate. Which, uh, that's going to be pretty tough to get to Baldur's Gate. I guess I could try. There, is some sh there are some shops in the carnival. That's an option. Um, let's see, let's, you know what? Let's do Old Caster School. This is... Um, Pretty sure this is an Act 2 thing, but I think we're okay to do this. And it's really close to um, some healing. We're weird map entrance. This is not the same place we entered from before. But I we, we should be fine. Uh, I choose this. And we're in dialogue mode? Okay. I choose this because we are relatively limited on our healing right now, so I want a place that's fairly close to an inn. Uh, I didn't want to try to go all the way to Bear Ghost. Kobolds. 
Interesting. Okay, so we're going to fight, fight some kobolds up here. I'm pretty sure there's an... A, I don't know how to pronounce it. Xvart... Xvart nest? Xvart nest somewhere around here. But um, I don't actually know... I don't remember exactly where it is. So I guess we'll have to find that. Okay, yeah, we've got some kobolds. Okay, why is she stepping forward still? That's not what I want. Mm, okay, they're shooting fire arrows. I don't like that. Definitely want to get onto them. Um, why? Stop. No, no. Please attack. Okay. Well, these guys are really squished, but they did a lot of damage. Really fast with their first round of attacks. Pretty much all landing. Which is not ideal. Um, do we get any fire arrows? Nice. Oh, sweet. We do get to pick up some of their fire arrows. Hi. Three fire arrows. Don't worry about me. Let's see what else we can run into here. Hmm. Don't like these narrow pathways. Oh, I was hoping we wouldn't see something on the other side of that narrow pathway. Well, now I guess it's not so bad. Let's try to take this choke point. Let's do that. Gotta take and hold the- whoa, why? Take and hold the choke point. Um, cause we got... I can damages here. Available. Uh, and then... Maybe run up here with a turn. These guys just died. Pretty sure we're all right. Oh, this way. Yeah, see the turn. Doing huge things. What is this? Oh, there's kobolds. I didn't realize there were also kobolds, so we should probably attack these. Um. They basically took a pretty big hit there. Um, but we did kill off a couple of those kobolds. That's nice. Um, we're still trying to hit this skeleton, which is just not working. I think it's skeleton. Um, okay, that worked. Hmm, um, let's do this. We'll split our attacks up. I think God's plan is a little hung out to try here. Let's move God's plan back. There we go. This is a better position overall. Not in quite as much danger here. And we're going to send Bigly down that way. And we're going to send Strongicus down that way. To keep Jeff out of combat I've got this. and move and across. Okay, we'll just have them help out Bigly down here because she's a little hurt. Not a problem. I want to have God's plan a bit closer so that if I need to heal, I can. Okay, there's a kill for Strongicus. That's great. Another Cobalt down. Nice. Bigly picks up a kill too. Everybody else can switch targets then and step forward a little bit. There's a kill for Stronger Kiss. Back down. Yep, okay. Now everybody can come in on this skeleton here. What is that? A furret. What is furret? Is that a dude? Is furret a guy, though? <laughs> or is it? Is that a monster? I'm really not sure. Kind of brown. Uh, I think it might be a guy. Yeah, maybe just like a... Sh Let's see. Okay. Yes, that is humanoid, at the very least. That's good. Seems chill. At the very least, they're not attacking us while we run around looting things. Let's keep running around looting things. I also need to drop a heal. Uh, Bigly took some damages there. Something else hurt fairly badly. I think we can hold our heals for now. Otherwise, go ahead and drop this save and talk to this person. 
Who are you? Wayfarers, wait up a moment. I wish to have a word with you. You are adventurers, are you not? Yes, we're adventurers. Why should you care? That's good, then. You see, I'm an adventurer of sorts. Of course, I'm not very fond of battle. I like to pilfer objects from ruins and monstrous lairs and try to p my best to avoid getting hurt. Anyway, I have something that might interest you. I have a gem in my possession. A magical gem. I have no use for it, and I can't get the price I'm looking for from anyone I've met. Would you perhaps be interested in? Okay. Um, perhaps you could tell us what the gem does? Of course. It's a gem of true seeing. It allows you to see the truth in all things. So do you want it? I'm selling it for a thousand gold. No more, no less. How about selling it for less than a thousand gold? I can't sell such a gem for less than a thousand gold. Hmm. I feel like this is a ruse. But we are kind of rich right now. Hmm. Do we want... I mean... Yeah, this... I, I think... I think... At the very least, let's try to bluff. Can't afford it. I guess this is goodbye. Okay, well, alrighty, bud. I guess he's not gonna let me buy it. That's fine. I don't... I feel like he was gonna try to scam us. Like that was a scam. Okay, well, some interesting rock formations. Continue exploring. See if we can find anything else that's not too intimidating. Only have a couple heals left, but we've got some. Got some heals. We're okay to do a little bit of fighting. Let's, uh, let's back up a little bit, get in position, and drop a quick save. That's the beauty of that uh, pause on enemy sighted auto pause setting. Very, very helpful stuff. And we're going to bring in Bigly with a bow. And strong because what this Warhammer. It's gonna have them charge right up. We're gonna have everybody else focus down kobolds with ranged attacks. Oh, wow, they got an instant kill there. That's great. Strongicus also getting a kill on the first attack. That's great. We'll have these two. Oh, bigly getting a kill on the first attack. Kobolds are not very tough, um, especially in only a group of four. Not very scary. In large numbers, they can be problematic. But also, Jeff can theoretically put them to sleep. So, that is not too, too scary, even in very large groups. Okay, well, let's see. So, that was fine. Let's see. Jeff is doing a great job of hiding behind everybody else and doing no damage, just as we need him to do until Baldur's Gate 2. Eventually, he will be doing all kinds of amazing summons and stuff, but for now, he's going to do some amazing hiding um, and doing nothing else, pretty much. Okay, so we're going to have uh, these two kind of hang out for a sec. We're going to send Strongicus through. We're going to have Bigly start the fight, and then we're going to send Strongicus in so that, yeah, so you'll see here. Um, oh, I actually expected... Bigly to take the aggro away from Strongicus at first, but it seems they've aggroed onto Strongicus. Which is fine. Ooh, poison is bad, though. Um, we do want to get an antidote onto him. Where are those? Yes. So, he needs to use that antidote right away. Okay, that's good. And then let's keep having him charge. We're going to have now... Or keep shooting arrows, and everybody else just shoot at the normal hobgoblin. Okay, there we go. Let's have everybody shoot at the hobgoblin elite now. Nice, okay, and then just this last hobgoblin. So that was good, that could have been scary, especially if we didn't have an antidote. Could have been really, really bad, but we are fine, that's what we bought those antidotes for.
I've got this. Here is Jeff. Let's bring Jeff back around. All right, things going fairly smoothly. We took a little bit of damage there, um, but I think we're still okay to keep pressing on and exploring this. See if we can't get a little bit more done with this adventuring day. Okay, bring Jeff over here. Seems safe enough for him to stand here at least. See anyone around? All right, all right. Don't worry about me. Well, there's not very much there. I kind of want to use Jeff to explore down here. Just, uh, I don't think there'll be any encounters, but... I want to double check. I've got this. Is there like a, a way around? It seems like there... They're, I don't know if there's a route around. All right, all right. This might actually be a pretty important area, though. Curious. Okay, it does seem like there's a route around. But we need to go up here. Okay, can we not go over that way? Oh, okay. Hmm. Uh, wait, is there some... What's up here, then? Oh, that's an inaccessible area. There's just nothing up. <coughs> okay. Well, that is a lot of convoluted terrain for there to be nothing there. But all right, we explored that area. <laughs> cool. Let's go reunite with Jeff. Uh, it looks like we need to do a combat here to do so, but that's fine. Um, we are out of position, so let's back up and reposition first. Get everybody positioned right. Sometimes that takes a few tries. There we go. We'll bring these two forward first, just like before. Alright, we're going to sick them on the Hobgoblin Elite. There we go. Oh, wow. Um, and then we'll go ahead and start attacking the other one. Um, oh, great. So both of these attacks missed, meaning we don't need to use an antidote here. Um, okay, any, pa any poisons? Okay, so our Cleric saves versus the poison, which is very good. That's that's death save there. Um... And then actually, yeah, maybe Bigly. Okay, ow. Um, yeah, let's get Bigly into melee against this guy too. There we go. So that he stops shooting arrows. There we go. Alright, so that's good. And we can have her heal herself now. And I think at this point, with us needing to drop so much healing to get out of here safely. It's probably time to call this an adventuring day. I worry about getting back to town safely if we get ambushed huh. with only just one heal left. I think this is when we want to go back to town. Um, let's see, did we actually manage to find a way back to Jeff? Okay, there we go. We've cleared out most of the map. Well, I guess about half of the map. All right. Don't worry about me. Go back to Baragost. You have been way late. Okay. Well, I was worried this would happen. I'm especially worried about Jeff because Jeff is made of paper, and is almost certainly going to get aggroed here. Um, but we're going to have him try to cast armor. Probably, sh in fact, I should have just cast armor before we left. Um, so let's send people. Let's see, so the face is going to do a bard song. Um, let's see. Oh, did I? Thought I bought her. Oh, right. Yes, there's the the good dagger. Okay, let's have her use a dagger here. 
against that one. We're going to send Strongicus in. Oh, actually, no, no, no. We'll send Strongicus there. We'll send Stabs a lot to the right Kobold. And Bigly McSmackington to the left Kobold. Um, we'll have Jeff run away. And um, God's Plan go down here to the south Kobold. I think that's the move. Okay, so does anybody attack Jeff? Kobold Commando attacks Jeff. I don't like that. Which one is the Commando? That's the Commando. Okay, so this is the new target for everyone. Um, as long as anyone is targeting Jeff, they need to be de they need to be killed immediately. Um, okay, no, there's some more people targeting Jeff, which I really dislike. Um, so he needs to drink a potion here. This sucks. Okay, um, it's just so impossible to, uh, keep this mage alive right now. Yeah, like, absolutely brutal. Um, I don't think they're, that he's going to make it through the next round because he has, like, no AC. So, okay. Oh, oh, I think we have prevented, actually, <laughs> the ranged attack coming through. Um, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> So, because God's plan here is in melee, I think that the attack roll has not gone off. Yeah, attacks Jeff, attacks Madam Stabs a lot. So that attack, it went into her. And then I think we're going to force this kobold into attacking, um, attacking God's plan, which would be necessary for Jeff to not die. Um, so we're going to run him into the top right corner. Yeah, and it's even trying to reposition, but we're not going to let it. Um, we're going to kill that kobold. Okay. Um, and if Jeff can get off armor, then this whole thing looks a lot better. Um, awesome. Stronger because his target is dead. Okay, okay. We might have actually done this, chat. This this might this might be fine. I think this might be fine. Um, as long as... Let's see. Actually, I'm really nervous this one is going to just turn and attack him for no reason with a bow. Um, okay. I think we're okay. You want it? Um. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Yikes. Yikes. What a fight. Um. Uh, what a fight. It won't just die already. Like. Okay. There we go. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're going to go heal him. So fortunately, now we are fewer than eight hours from home. Um, so I think that armor will still be up if uh, we travel. Hopefully it's fewer than eight hours. Otherwise, it's going to be a... Ooh, those are fire arrows. Hold up. Cool. I like fire arrows for free. Alright, let's get out of here. The rest of them weren't commandos, so I guess they don't have the fire arrows. Well, that went well, actually. That went shockingly well, considering the situation. Um, yeah, we're good. You want it? Go rest. I actually need to drop a heal first. Um, that. Alright, and we want some healing, so we're going to get the royal room. Which, in fact, I think... I don't even know if this inn has a royal room. Let's try. Hope you're having a good time. Uh, everyone, welcome, welcome. Hope you're enjoying things. Let's see. Rest. Yeah. Alright. So, we did get a little bit of natural healing there, just from that royal room. Um, eight hit points there. Not bad. Oh, I forgot to do our spells. Total face palm. Um, we leveled up a bit. So let's see. No more level one casts, if anything. And I don't have any level two spells. Uh, oh, actually, no, I, I think we're fine. I didn't forget to do anything. Uh, never mind. We don't have any level two spells yet. So we're good. We're good. Off we go. Uh, I guess we finish that map. Uh, yeah. Let's finish this map. I've got See what else there is here. 
Not really sure what we might run into. I think this is some Act 2 content, so it's entirely possible we'll run into something that is a little too high level. I'm not sure. Let's find out. Also, Jeff is in the front. No. Bad Jeff. That's a bad Jeff. There you go. I've got this. Bad Jeff. Uh, who is that? Wilco. Let's find out who that is. What you want? Must get to arm, I must. Baldur's Gate demands a stop of, to the raids of its merchant caravans. I deliver messages quick and true, but when last I heard, Arm was requesting the same of Baldur's Gate. Someone is certainly confused somewhere, but it's not my business to think. Must run. Okay, well, I guess he's a messenger. You want it, Alrighty then. You got it. I don't know what he's doing here. Uh, okay, hobgoblins. We got hobgoblins. Jeff is going to run away. Actually, let's have everybody back up so that we can reposition a little bit. Mm -hmm. And Jeff is going to go over here. Okay, there we go. Everybody's kind of glitching together. Okay, there we go. We'll send these two forward. And once again, we're expecting a poison to drop, so let's actually give them both antidotes. Okay. Uh, right. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Okay, so we're going to go after that one. We really want to see these Hobgoblin Elites go down. N nobody else here really matters. Um, the Hobgoblin Elites have poison. That's why they matter. Okay, uh, which one is the in the back? That one. We want everybody to turn on this Hobgoblin Elite in the back here. I also really don't want Stabs a lot to dive in. I don't want you to dive in either. But just have all of our characters on ranged. You can see Jeff is doing a fantastic job of standing over there. That's exactly what we need him to be doing right now. He might have cast Sleep, but as you can see, we don't really need the Sleep spell for this encounter. These aren't very st scary. As long as you manage things right and keep your aggro off your back line, you should be just fine here. Aggro management is a huge part of, uh, of SCS. Oh, another Grease spell. Okay, well, we've got two of those. That's good. Couple of these, uh, just like, oh well. Right, that's cursed. We don't want that. That's also cursed. We also don't want that. Okay. That's Jeff. I think the music should stop in a second. We can see. Okay. Well, I guess. Right, that's a Baldur's Gate 2 thing where the music stops. Well, um, I think, yeah, let's leave Jeff here for a minute and do a little more exploring. See if we can encounter anything. It looks like there's a, there's a pretty big cliff to our south here. I don't know if we'll, we'll be able to get around that very easily. Uh, yeah, it looks like we'd have to go through here, so let's go back around actually explore this this area and then we'll work our way up to the north it seems like this northeastern area here is like a thing it's it seems to be a pretty big plateau so i bet we're gonna find something interesting up there but i don't i don't really know what it is yet let's explore everything else and we'll go there last now, there might be an encounter in here somewhere Well, I guess not. Let's see. Oh, no. They're <laughs> pretty confused about the map. I am, too. I don't know why it's designed this way. 
I wonder if there is, like, an actual purpose for all of this terrain here, and I just, I don't know what it is. Oh, hey, there's there's monsters up on top of this one. All right, let's go. Let's end strong, because here we want to go after these commandos first. There's actually a lot of them. That's kind of spooky. Um, see, so I'm just targeting them onto different characters here, and we're going to send... Okay, Strongicus in first. I do not like how many arrows just went towards my healer. That's that's not great, so I'm going to send her... I'm going to make her run away. Go. Oh, that's good. Uh, yeah, that's, that is much preferred. And then we're going to send everybody on the low Hobold Commando, and then have Strongicus chase the one with higher health. Okay, that one dies. Now we're good. Great. We got some fire arrows, everybody. Right on. Totally worth coming up here. Don't worry about me. I'm trying to click on these arrows, they're so tiny. Oh. Alright. Get ourselves back into a better position here. And explore this last little area. I don't think there's anything over here. Oh. Okay, nothing over here, no treasure chest or anything. Ah, one can hope. One can hope. So let's check out this northeastern area then. See if there's anything there. We are running around. <laughs> there you can see on the map our, our dudes running. Well, I guess they're walking. We don't have haste yet, so they're not running very fast. But off they go. Anyway, and here's Jeff. He's been doing a great job of standing there. Definitely need him. Moral support. We're, we're considering him an investment. He is... Jeff is stonks, as it were. You want it, you've got it. But just in case there's random spawns or anything, I do want to keep him, like, relatively with me. I don't want him out there in the middle of nowhere. But, um... But he is, uh, not very good yet. I assume we can go north somewhere. We not. Is there just no northeastern area? Oh, it looks like we actually... Hold up. We can only go up through here. Now, this is very interesting. It just look... This is the kind of space where you find something. Where there's a big old plateau, and there's a narrow gap for you to go into it. It just feels like a dramatic entryway to a larger sectioned off area. Are we about to, like, find a dragon or something? Or, like, a bandit camp? What's going on? What's, what is this? I've got this? Uh, okay. There's an abandoned building. Not a huge fan of that. But we're gonna bring Jeff up here for now. Abandoned buildings commonly house undead. Okay, whoa, well, that is a person. Ooh, dislike. Um, flesh here, enough to make me whole again. Um, halt, wraith, and reveal thy nature. I am Icarid, greatest of warriors. I wish to live and taste blood once more. Yours shall be the first in a hundred years. Oh, shit. Okay, well, that not good. Um, so, scary flail lady. Hmm. So you remember when I said we might encounter something that's a, a little bit too high level for us? I worry that this is that. Um, but let's do what we can. Let's do what we can. I need to micro everybody back to get her to aggro onto Strongicus. There we go. Okay, that's very important. She must be aggroed on a strong case where we stand no chance here. Uh, I'm gonna have God's Plan use Divine Favor. Now, if you're not familiar, plus one to hit and damage. So, Divine Favor on... Oh, right. That That's not a targeted ability. Hmm. Not a problem. Um, well, I guess Divine Favor on herself is fine. But we're gonna have our Bard do a Bard Song. Because we have a Scald that gives us plus one to hit and damage. 
And then we're going to be flinging these masterwork bolts because I feel like these are much needed here. Uh, and I think it probably would be better. How would these arrows of ice do? Let's, let's shoot some of these masterwork arrows also. Okay. Um, so Icarid is immune to cold damage. And it takes a 15 to hit. That's not too bad, actually, for, for hitting on a 15 with Strongicus. It's kind of a lot of hit points. About 50, 60 hit points here. What's the first thing she does? How does... um? Okay. Uh, well, we've got the Divine Favor on our Cleric, so let's fling a couple stones here. I mean, our... I guess Jeff can... Throw, can throw a couple darts. I don't know how much damage it's going to do, but he might as well throw some darts since there's just one thing here. Um, okay. Wow, that's a lot of damage. That was six uh, when halved. Okay. Uh, so that's hitting on an eight. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I think we might be in for it here. Um, yeah, he's hit, just hitting on everything. What is this weapon? Weapon and effective. Oh, and it's immune to non-magical weapons. Okay. Um, so yeah, so I think this is one of those situations where we maybe can't. Um, let's see, let's let's try. I think if I give, wait, wait, let's give her this, and then give you this. It may be too late at this point, but I think I probably could have if I had realized we needed magical weapons. Uh, let's drop a big heal on Strongicus, and if Strongicus makes it to the heal, then we might be alright. Um, okay, actually, we got an aggro change. Yeah. That's good. Um, definitely needed that aggro change. Our Thecko is, like, super high. I don't think we can actually do that much damage right now. Um, but, I mean, we're just swinging for the fences here. Actually, that was pretty good. Pretty lucky there. Um, and maybe God's Plan can turn? I don't know. It's entirely possible that God's Plan could actually get a successful turn here. Um, but Madam Stabslot needs to run. By kiting around. Tax God's plan, I don't like that. Um, okay. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, these old bones are slow. Long since Icarid tasted blood. But I have not walked Faerun this long without learning much. Not yet am I defeated. Miracle, honor our pact. Remember the blood I spilled for thee. Aid me. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no, it gets worse. Okay, um... Hmm. Let's drop a big heal. Okay, what just happened? Um. Oh, lightning. Oh, no. Um. Ah, this is really bad. Call lightning is, is extremely strong. I don't think I can get a heal off before that drops again. Uh, um. We had almost gotten her to it, looked like. But I guess she gets a second health bar. That's so much. Um, an entire second health bar. Holy crap. Uh, I don't even know what to do right now. Um, let's send this over to the face who does have order staff proficiency. We can potentially do some damage there. Um, and then, yeah, all God's Plan can do at this point is drop some heals. I think that's what we need to have God's Plan. Oh, my cool. Okay, well, all right. Ah, I see, I see. Call to deity for help. So, yeah, that was probably draw upon Holy Might then. Um, okay, so we actually got shockingly far into this fight. I think um, this is definitely something we should come back to. I, I am not ready for this, but we'll we'll count this as a reset. You know, even if even if I stumble into something that is 
way out of the league. It still counts. So we'll chalk this up 24. Uh, for reference, a lot of our reloads were um, a flesh golem. that We only had two plus one weapons to hit. So yeah, things like that happen sometimes. That is okay. We're going to not go there. We're going to come back another time. We're going to come back another time. Okay. Hey, I mean, this is pretty good, though. We explored most of the map. Why did you attack the flesh golems? Well, so I kind of panicked. I only attacked one of them, and I, I fought it and managed to kill it after a few resets. And then it occurred to me that I may not actually have to fight the flesh golems. Um, and so I, I talked to the wizard after that and found out I didn't have to fight the flesh golems. Yeah, I, I, I found out I didn't have to fight the flesh golems. <laughs> um, so I only had to kill one of them. And uh, I probably only had to kill zero of them. I just didn't know that you could talk to the wizard and, and that would stop them from killing you. But yeah, yeah, so that was a bunch of our resets was just not knowing that. <clears throat> and also being super low level and dying to getting attacked every time we enter an inn. Uh, which is another thing that happens. Uh, now, actually, how's the heal situation here? We're fine on heals. So I guess if I'm going to go... All the way, I guess, okay, yeah, I mean, if we're going to leave, let's leave uh, and go explore some other locations. So I'm pretty sure this map is done. Um, yep, okay. So let's go to this map. And we're going here. Let's see what this is. See if we can find some more trouble to get into. Maybe force ourselves into another reset. Just sweep across the map, see what we can find here. This map seems like it's pretty small. Yeah, not the biggest map. Okay, some kobolds. All right, so th this seems like about the same difficulty level as, as the other area. That means there's likely something here that we can't kill, but we can kill these guys and get some fire arrows. Okay, that's a lot of fire arrows coming at my characters. All right, well, we're fine, though. All right, yeah, that's why we back Jeff up, is because if Jeff takes three of those fire arrows... Heck, if Jeff takes two of those fire arrows, he's probably dead. But we really only want Jeff to step up when he has a spell to cast, and then he's going to back up immediately. He can throw darts, but unless we're up against exclusively melee opponents, I'm usually not going to have him throwing darts. Okay, oh, there's an ogre. All right, this is fine. Again, we're just going to have Jeff hang back. And we can pretty much just left-click to win for now. Okay, we did take a bunch of damage there, so let's drop a heal. Those uh, ogres can hit pretty hard. They usually don't, though. Go. Big heal. Alright, and we're good there. Pick up a little bit of loot. Okay. I mean, every little bit of XP helps at this point. Um, we are still pretty low level, so even 270 XP is actually fairly substantial. A lot of quests at this point in the game give, say, like 100, or sorry, 1,000 or 500 experience, so 270 is not too bad. Let's see, we are doing pretty well, actually. We're getting, getting close to level 5. life. No, your iron and your life. Yeah, that one's better. 
What do you want with our iron? Ours is no good. Crumble like elf bones and make our clan into laughingstock. Ha ha, big joke. We kill you quick. No pain. Just take iron. Okay, uh, Jeff is in a really, really bad spot. That's not good. But fortunately, I think these half ogres are melee. So let's send. Uh, let's do this. I guess we need to temporarily at least have God's plan in melee here. And we're going to send. We're going to try to kill the adds first. Because they're kind of mispositioned. Um, and we're actually going to send Bigly into melee because I need another body up here. I have a feeling that this uh, this half or ogre here is going to be pretty scary. But these guys are all melee, so this is one of those situations where I actually feel fine having Jeff um, throw some darts. Let's have uh, yeah, let's have her kill that off. I guess we're going to have you that dagger. Okay, this is going fine. That's good. We got a kill there. That's that's really excellent. Um, let's continue killing off these adds. Um, I I feel like well, let's swap out God's plans aggro or Mata for Bigly's aggro. Let's try to get yeah. You see how we've blocked off the path of these two. Now, ideally, one or both of them will will aggro onto. Uh, bigly here. Yeah, great. Great. We killed one of them. The other one aggroed. Um, and then we're actually going to run Madam Stabs a lot back and do ranged attacks here. That was close. We'll have God's Plan run back and do ranged attacks also. You can see Arcane is just kindly focusing on our tank. Very polite of him to do so while we kill all of his friends. And now we're going to turn on him. There we go. Okay, so we took a little bit of damage on our tank there, but nothing too bad. Um, and we got a lot of experience. Look at that. We got to level up on our cleric. Fantastic. 